Hi, everyone. There are a lot of ideas that I <laughs> maybe tried to express in the past two vlogs I've tried to create. <laughs> yeah, tried to create. <laughs> and uh, I haven't been able to get either of them good enough to post. Or maybe things changed so much in a day that I was like, I don't even want to post this. Because the things that I was celebrating at that time have changed so much. This doesn't even necessarily count as a vlog. It's a video of me talking a little bit and then stopping and talking a little bit and then stopping. And through the magic of editing, it's all happening in one big 10, 15, 20 minute thing. It can't be any more than 30 minutes. Maybe I should just start there. How long is too long? Anything above 30 minutes is too long. Because when I create a vlog, I'm using my MP3 recorder and Tunes to Tube. And Tunes to Tube has a limit. It's some number of megabytes. And it translates to 30 minutes. Uh, I had to find that out by, like, trying. <laughs> like doing a trial and error type of thing and I figured out that 30 minutes is probably its limit and if it goes beyond 30 minutes it won't work it tells me it's too long to upload and there's always an option to pay I haven't investigated that because I'm not willing to pay tunes to tube um, and besides in the interest of giving you guys a video that I would want to watch I mean, I don't necessarily like 30, 45, 50, 60 minute videos. <laughs> you know, the longer it is, the more I might be like, uh, do I really even want to watch that? The more I'll fast forward past stuff, probably. And the way so much, the way so many vlogs are long strings of music and then finally something to listen to and then long strings of music and finally something to listen to of course i'm going to fast forward past a lot of that crap i'll get onto that later but yeah it's going to be 30 minutes or less unless i'm literally using the video app on my phone uh, the the camera app on my phone to do one takes or well my phone or my computer i now know about the app on my computer but the camera the video camera app on my computer first of all if i'm sitting here babbling for an hour on a one take and you sit and listen to it god love you for sitting there and listen to me drone <laughs> That's you proving that what I have to say matters. I love you for that. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how many of you there are in the world, and I'm not going to subject you to that. So that's why I so care about... That's why I do sound-based stuff instead of video-based stuff. And I have been told more than once, you need a podcast, and you might be right. Maybe not you, but the two people that have said, maybe you need to branch off into a podcast. They're probably right because I am a sound creator. I am a sound content creator. Trying to put my stuff on a video-based platform. I don't know of you sound, meaning something like YouTube that is just as popular just as um, just as easy to search within, just as easy for people to find, and yet there's no video component to it whatsoever. It's all sound. So for now, I'll just use YouTube. But if YouTube ends up being a stepping stone to something else, then it just is. I hope that there's some number of people that enjoy what I bring to YouTube or will come to enjoy what I bring to YouTube to the point where if and when I find that other place to put my stuff where it's more appropriate because sound matters the most my YouTube subscribers will 
join me there. But I haven't found that yet, so... I mean, it might exist. It might be called Patreon, but... Can you sample Patreon without committing to paying for something? Uh, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. There's just a general thing about... I can't just prosper. I have to give this much to this entity and that part to that entity and this part to this entity. I mean, Patreon, my landlord, my Uncle Sam, you know. But that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to spend the rest of this video talking about that. I am in a... How do I describe this? A tough time, I guess, a little bit. I'm... There are changes coming up at work. Well, there's a change coming up at work that I know of for sure. And it's likely that there's going to be another one. And I'm not crazy about either one of them. Um, neither one of them I have any control over. And I mean, one of them, for heaven's sake, what else would I expect? I completely understand it. And at the same time, I understand it. I'm sad to see this happen. And I'm kind of scared about where it leaves me, to tell you the truth. And I say all that to say that part of me vlogging is going to be about the fact that 2020 turned the world inside out, upside down, and back asswards, and it's not necessarily stopped. Let me find out what that is. And everyone's kind of going through some changes, some tough times, and I am no exception. And I guess the reason why I'm, part of the reason why I'm vlogging, apart from the fact that I just like to watch vlogs with my ear eyes. You know, there's a YouTuber that I followed at one point. I don't really follow her much now, but she calls her hands her finger eyes, and I don't know that she calls her ears her ear eyes, but I do. I don't have eyes. I mean, I do, but they don't work for shit. Yeah. Outright. I, I completely have no remorse anymore about calling it like it is, about saying what I want to say. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. Um, what is that now? Jeez. I love the fact that my phone is back to notifying me instead of sending stuff to my watch and not having stuff, but what is that now? Hold on. These notifications that I don't really want to watch, really want to listen to. Anyway, where was I? Apart from the fact that I just like to listen to vlogs with my ear eyes, I guess I just want to let anyone going through something like this know that, yeah, you're not alone. Regardless of race, creed, religion, or disability, shit happens. And maybe it's just, maybe you're just watching what this one blind woman, one blind woman out of billions of blind people, by the way, I can never keep that statistic in my head, but there's billions of us who have some form of visual impairment. And probably plenty of us would just decide, well, we can't see, so we're, we are not able to do anything. That was never me. Although I don't allow my blindness to debilitate me completely, there are some things I just can't do. There are some... There are some... things that are just harder than others, and that's probably always going to be the case. I guess what I'm trying to say, and what I'm trying to show in these vlogs, if I can ever keep one short enough to publish, <laughs> is that... Life isn't always easy, even for someone as 
quote unquote inspirational, quote unquote amazing, quote unquote, wow, she's really got it together for a blind person. She's a miracle as me. First of all, thank you. In a lot of ways, I am a miracle. I, at the beginning of my life, those neonatologists went to my mother and said, your baby is desperately ill. I don't think she's going to make it. And she said, she said, she'll be okay. She'll be fine. We're, we've been through so much together already. I was carrying her. I didn't think I was ever going to have a baby. Come to find out I'm pregnant. Then I deliver her way before I'm supposed to because of complications. We've been through so much together. I'm not giving up on her. And she didn't. And 42 years later, I'm... still very much alive and committed to staying alive for as long as I can. Not that there's a death sentence hanging over me, but... I guess I'm dealing with some long time emotions. I should know better, but <laughs> I should know better than to try to create a video while I'm getting, while I'm getting grocery delivery and trying to talk through. I should do a video about the shipped app. It's awesome. I love it. Check it out. It's in the, there's a link in the description below, but I always tell them, contact me. If anything's out of stock, contact me, you know, ask me to issue <laughs> further instructions. And they're really good about doing that, but I should know better than to try to do a video while <laughs> they're <laughs> on their mission. You know, I get these, I get these texts. Uh, this is out of stock. That's out of stock. Awaiting your instruction shop, shop, shop orderer. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and of course it's, it's all through the message app. So the first thing that happens when I get a message is, a message coming in is voiceover reads this phone number that I will not put on YouTube period. <laughs> um, anyway, <sighs> in some ways I am a miracle. Um, from a purely medical standpoint, I shouldn't have lived, but I did. And on the darkest days, when you think about everything I've been through, it's clear that God, the universe, whatever higher power one might believe in, had a purpose for me being here. Sometimes I wish God would just come out of the sky and appear as a human and wrap me up in his arms and speak to me audibly and say, here's what your purpose is, baby. First of all, I love you heart, soul, and life more than you can imagine. And everything that you were yelled at, frankly, or spoken harshly about as a kid, in the long run, I really don't care about that. I care that you grew up to be a beautiful, caring, kind soul. And here's your purpose. Here's what you're about. Here's what I want you to create. Here's what, I don't know, I, I guess I, <laughs> even this, I don't know if I'm going to put all this in the vlog slash video. <sighs> I'm just on this long time journey that I don't know if or when it'll be over where I re-examine my life, you know, look back on it, think about some of the shit that happened, but well, think about some of the shit that happened so that I can finally maybe address some of the long-standing issues I've had, things that I may or may not even discuss. I, I, <sighs> I guess a vlog is a person recording their life such as they're comfortable recording your life and putting it out there. And that's what I'm doing. 
as soon as I figure out how to post long ass things, maybe I'll divide them up into multiple parts, but that's what I'm doing. And I guess I'm in doing so, I guess I'm trying to let people know that I guess why I'm doing this is because I can't be the only one that's going through this or who will ever go through this. And I guess I'm hoping that somewhere along the line, whether it's as soon as I put the vlog up or five years later, somebody will watch this who is feeling big feelings and struggling with things and knowing that they want out of their job but have no idea what their business that they might build in its place would be or you know struggling with just just walking in circles around a room because when they finally decide what am i doing let me get the hell out of here they'll open the door and they'll walk into the house or into the like a into the greater house or into the walk out of the house and walk into the real world and be like, wait a minute, where exactly is it that I'm going? I have no freaking clue. That's kind of where I am right now. And I guess I'm feeling like I need a clue and I'm not looking to the comments to find out. I, And then I get to the point where I'm like, okay, there's no reason to even post this because I'm just rambling and nobody wants to hear this. But first of all, maybe that's true. Maybe there's plenty of people who don't want to hear it, but somebody might, number one. Number two, that just goes back to my deep-seated belief that no one wants to hear what I have to say, that I don't matter, that I am worthless and that is bullshit that is stories that i made up throughout my difficult life to explain why i deserve to have to struggle because after all i don't matter that's not true i was not put here to be worthless if i was truly worthless my mother would have outlived me not the other way around if i was truly worthless I would have died shortly after my mother did. As it is, I am alive and well for the most part. I'll find out for sure when I go to the doctor in a couple of weeks, but I expect there to be a little bit of a health issue, nothing severe, but I expect the doctor to say what she always says. You need to be doing more of this, to which I say, I wish this counted more <sighs> but I'm alive and for the most part well unless you look at mental and emotional then I'm kind of I mean I'm sicker that way than physically but even that I'm not gonna let that take me down as much as it might try to from time to time I'm gonna work through it and when I finally find my way to the other side, things are going to come into place in my mind that I can't even imagine right now. And to whatever extent I'm going to bring you in on that, welcome to my journey. <laughs> on that note, I think I am going to try to start vlogging. And if you want to come along for the ride, cool. If you don't, well, no problem. You probably want to watch someone who uses a camera instead of an mp3 player anyway, which that's all good. That's what YouTube's really supposed to be all about. For those of you who are still listening and willing to join me on this audio based vlog as I journey through, I could call it what I've heard it being called transformation life coaching, working through figuring out what the next chapters of my life are going to hold. Welcome aboard.
it's Sunday morning. Who's hammering? <laughs> or is that somebody doing what I've been told to do? Feeling rage and letting it go. Well, this is part of why I have a very specific way of feeling rage and letting it go. I just beat the hell out of the poor bed. <laughs> it's soft. It can, it can take it. And it's not disturbing the peace for everyone with whom I share a living quarters called an apartment building. I may have my specific apartment, but I have experienced someone's something that they were going through. And I was like, okay, I don't want to witness this, but I wasn't given a choice. I don't want to do that to somebody else. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd rather do it the way I'm going to do it than cause a building wide drama. But anyway, I don't know what these vlogs are going to sound like. I don't know what these vlogs are going to look like to your ear eyes. I never finished that thought a long time ago. I don't have eyes that work. I have finger eyes and ear eyes. I take things in. If it's something physical, I take it in with my hands, my finger eyes. I run my hands over them and feel them up and know what they are like that. If it's a YouTube video, I'm watching with my ear eyes. And when it's nothing but music, my ear eyes don't get shit. <laughs> Which is why I promise you I will never divide two scenes with a solid minute of music. If there's music in there at all, it's going to be like maybe a few seconds. Or I might just not use music, you know, <laughs> who knows. Another thing that I said a couple of vlogs ago, except I didn't because I can't cut those down enough to post them is another thing I will not do that I've heard people do hold that thought. Another thing you will never hear me do is fast forward stuff up like a chipmunk. Yes, I can use my editor to, if I hit the play button and then the fast forward button, it it fast forwards by speeding it up to like chipmunk speed, 316 sixteenth of a sixteenth per second, whatever. And uh, I could record that, I suppose, and put that into my video. But why the hell would I? I don't know why people do that. I will not do that. If I don't want you to hear it, it will not be heard. I will cut it out. If it is something I'm willing to let you hear, you will hear it at typical speed. Period. End of discussion. Is there anything else I need to say before I just start a vlog tomorrow? Do I vlog tomorrow? Ugh. Let's just, let's just see what happens. If I feel like vlogging tomorrow, great. If I don't, oh well. <laughs> If not tomorrow, sometime soon, I'm sure. If you're still listening, thank you for listening. Welcome to this journey that I've actually been on for a while, but I, I haven't talked much about it. And I'm going to end this. Check out Ira, check out Shipped, check out the episode of a podcast that I was featured in one of the coolest things to happen to me in a long time even though it happened several months ago it's still just so cool um and you will hear from me in the next video bye